So you can give the title SA450 after that.
Shall we start? Okay, <clears throat> fair enough, pay attention. So, again, uh, not that difficult standard, absolutely simple. SA450, now this standard uh, can normally be asked as a combined question along with SA240. Uh, in the past, it has happened that many a times uh, with 240 and uh, 450, they have asked a combined question. So you should not be scared because they are asking questions on two standards together. It's just an application of two, uh, four, uh, 240 only. So it's nothing great, but it's just an extension. But the series is uh, slightly uh, separate. It is 450 and that is 240. I hope you remember what is SA 240, where you had uh, responsibility as an auditor to uh, see frauds in the audit of financial statements. So it is just an extension of that only. Here the name, <coughs> look here, the name itself means evaluation. Evaluation means to consider or to appraise the performance. To consider or appraisal is called as evaluation. Okay. When I say appraisal or consideration, that means it's evaluated. You have to analyze the situation here. And the situation is also very simple. If you come across any misstatement, if you come across any misstatement, maybe that misstatement is an error, maybe that misstatement is a fraud. So you don't know what type of misstatement it is. But whenever you come across any misstatement, what you should do, you should always try to evaluate the areas from where that the misstatement has arose. Okay. So auditor should evaluate areas where he feels that there is a risk of misstatement. So if you feel that there is a misstatement and see in no audit, I can say that there won't be any misstatement at all. There will be misstatement in the form of errors. There will be misstatement in the form of frauds. Okay. So as the name suggests, evaluation of misstatements arising during the conduct of an audit of financial statements. So it is very, very clear here that I am studying this standard while performing an audit. Okay. This standard is to be uh, applied or analyzed while performing an audit. We are not applying this standard at the time of planning for an audit or at the time of assessing the risk of an audit. Okay. We are trying to apply this standard while performing an audit of financial statements. So what do you mean by the term misstatements? Several times we have understood that misstatements can be either in the form of errors or they can be in the form of what frauds okay so whenever there is a misstatement you have to see the possibility from where the misstatement has arose okay you have to see the possibility from where the misstatement has arose and then try to evaluate whether it is really a misstatement see because what happens you know you may feel that it is a mistake of law or if it is a mistake uh, uh, done on part of the accountant or maybe there are some fraudulent entries passed but according to the management it is not a misstatement and le let's take the contrary case now what you feel is a misstatement management knows it's a misstatement but it is trying to hide its misstatement okay so that is also a possibility so practically I'm telling you what is misstatement according to an auditor may not be a misstatement according to the management okay that means management feels that it is not a material misstatement Achha, what is misstatement according to the auditor is also a material misstatement for the management but it is trying to deny the fact it is trying to hide that fact that it is really a misstatement somehow it does not want that the blame should come on the management and you know if the management wants to fool or cheat the shareholders then it will never try to take the blame also because ultimately at the AGM when the board of directors will present themselves in front of shareholders they need to answer to the questions which are raised by shareholders so when they are trying to present themselves in front of shareholders it is very very clear that they need to be you know transparent and crystal clear there they can't you know try to hide something so just to protect themselves they will not disclose such misstatement so I am telling you both the possibilities what you feel is a misstatement may not be a misstatement according to the management and suppose if you feel something is a material misstatement even the management knows that it's a material misstatement but it is not trying to present itself that way so he should communicate material misstatement or in financial statements to the management that means if you feel that there is a misstatement either in the form of an error or a fraud 
please make sure that you make a communication see i told you that this word communication often keeps on coming in so many auditing standards okay that much importance this word has so you should communicate material misstatement to the management okay when you're communicating material misstatement to the management you should also ask the management to rectify the misstatement that means it is possible that the management may treat auditor's misstatement as not treat auditor's misstatement as material management says that no it is not a material misstatement according to me because when you communicated to the management your very intention was that the management should rectify the material misstatement but the management says that no it is not a material misstatement so you know i told you know sometimes it is possible that an auditor what auditor feels is a material misstatement may not be material according to the management so the standard also says that you should reconsider whether it was really material or not read this statement an auditor should reconsider and evaluate whether the misstatements are material okay that means you have to see to it that by chance you can be also wrong at times in auditing because i told you that you are not always correct as far as your professional judgments are concerned so suppose if you are reconsidering it now it will give you an opportunity to decide whether it is really a material misstatement or not so if he believes now now after reconsideration now if he is believing so if he believes that misstatements according to him are material now that means you are 100% sure even if you have applied best of your professional judgments you are very sure that it is a material misstatement then he should go and he should communicate again to the management okay he should again go and communicate to the uh, management if and if management this time is treating it as immaterial see now if you are 100% sure that means management is just trying to hide the information management knows that it's a material misstatement but it management is trying to deny the fact now again third time i can't tell you to reconsider the misstatement okay are you getting this point that means third time what i can tell you you know if management feels that it is immaterial you just tell the management that sir it is possible that i may also be wrong okay it is possible that you may also be wrong why don't you write it in writing you know written representation and give it to me okay give it to me uh, if suppose something goes wrong and if the blame is coming on me and actually there was a misstatement then i would have this as a proof to show to the shareholder that i was not wrong because i went and i spoke to the management and now the management has given me a written representation presentation for the same so that way you can play safe while doing auditing you can justify yourself in front of shareholders also so whenever there is a misstatement if if he believes that there is a misstatement according to him and they are material then the management and the management should also treat them as immaterial so if management is treating them as immaterial then what best you can do just take a written representation from the management for which statements for uncorrected misstatements that means what was your intention your intention that the management should rectify the misstatement that means management should correct the misstatement but if the management is not correcting the misstatements now what you do what you just take a written representation from the management and make sure that you keep the written representation in your working paper file okay so in future if something goes wrong then you have a proof to show that i made the communication and management blamed me that it is not a misstatement have you understood or not that's how you evaluate misstatement in auditing that means if you follow all these steps you know what they suggest they suggest that you will maintain quality you will maintain some standards while doing auditing is it clear or not okay so we have completed auditing standards completely in detail have you understood thank you very much <laughs> so what what i expect from you now what i expect from you that 35 marks you will daily you will study auditing standards see i i'll honestly tell you though i take i am taking lectures here for the very first time to be very honest but in mumbai most of my students score 60 plus marks in auditing okay this is the same approach that means this much effort i am putting here okay you can you can just uh, communicate with any student in fact uh, i'll just tell you honestly that they are all students who are most 90% of the cases are with 60 plus marks suppose you know the paper is slightly tough they may score 55 plus also but then nobody gets in 40s nobody gets in 30s you know the if you are attending uh, becoming serious while in my lectures and just concentrating on studies because see as you said that sir lecture is very big so i just reduce the span for 2 hours to now i keep only small small lectures so you may not feel sleepy also because i understand this is a monotonous subject if you teach me also auditing then i'll also sleep you know so it's like that so what i'm trying to tell you is that when you, i'm putting so much hard work i'm giving you all notes in writing i want to make sure that every student sitting and this can really help you in scoring your percentage also because second group if you are weak in a subject this subject can really help you a lot if it is prepared in this manner and plus i've told you that auditing is like it once it ca catches you you will have to study this subject after you become ca also this subject is applicable after ca also that means you can just see the importance of this subject okay so i want people to now concentrate on 35 marks since i finished off the whole topic is it clear or not okay i'll start with the next chapter which is on company audits